Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Stasis Bone Totem. So as you can see we have lost contact with both Charlie and Moses, the latter who ripped himself in half onto water just to send us one escape suit. So I think it's safe to say that Moses is dead, or rather should I say permanently offline, so he won't be coming back. As for Charlie, well she did get out of the nursery, but she fell down quite a distance and lost consciousness, I believe, so that's why we can't control her for now. So we just have to play as Mac for now and try to navigate our way to the labyrinth, I believe. I mean, I don't know what else to try and do. So yeah, without further ado, let's go and um, try our best. I don't know where I'm going. It is a test, brother. We are all tested. We do not all pass. <laughs> a test, you say? What kind of test? Patterns, flow flowing carved patterns ripple across the masonry, inscriptions, barely visible inscriptions run the length of the malformed stone. Well I would like to I would like to I would love to know that what kind of inscriptions. Just a beam, skulls, polished polished skulls decorate the wall. Yeah, these and these points of interest are not helping me at all. Um, hmm. Smear on wall. A scroll in ancient blood could be could be a warning or an exit marker. Ah, oh, okay. That that's something. That's something. Just a beam as sand. Scuff marks in the sand indicate recent uh, transversal. Okay, so did they go this way or that way? That's what I would like to know. Maybe this way. Ah, we have to get out of here. Mac. Mac. Hurry. Or maybe she is not unconscious. Maybe she's just so badly hurt that she can't move. That's also possible. Glyphs? A hewn glyphs of a, of a centipede-like creature stands proud, proud of the wall. Engraved script. An archaic cuneiform script is punc punctuated by engraved depictions of screaming faces. Debris. Wood beam. I don't know, let's go this way I guess. Hmm. Wall of skulls, rows of skulls and femurs. Femurs uh, decorate the walls. More. This, this all looks the same. Indeed it does. Nuts of mud, drowned debris lie in a tangled, untidy heap. Passageway. Just more beams. Capulates under a sacking roof. Maybe I should save around here just in case. Let's go this way, whatever. I assume that I must not uh, go, you know, southwards because that will just send us back. I think. Let's see. Yes. And then the labyrinth ca uh, caves in, and I can't go back. Hmm. That's weird to me because it's not like it's not like this game should have dead ends, you know, dead ends where you where you have screw, where you have uh, screwed up so badly that you can't proceed and uh, get to the end of the game anymore. Like in the like in the good old days, in some of the o oldest uh, Sierra adventure games, this is not like that. So if we can't go if we can't go back to the labyrinth then we must be able to go somewhere else. Hmm, maybe clearing that labyrinth is an achievement or something. Oh, there, there you are. So this is where you fell to. Back. Charlie, I'm here. Let me know, please, and Charlie now. Our time is short. Oh, great. Several large bulges appear to written in Charlie's abdomen. Oh, great. 
Charlie! Charlie, I'm here. Mac. Mac. Oh god, that looks nasty. I'm to reach us. This pleasing. The parasites continue to grow. What do we do? I can move out that overcharge power from the female's blood suit. I collect the pulse of the appropriate ethic and will drive the parasites out. 87% accuracy prediction. I sense a butt coming. It will only be effective if they are near the female's epidermis layer. I will not be able to detect when that moment occurs. So... It has to be me. 100% accuracy prediction. You must watch for the parasite's presence. Then, act with accuracy in haste. Mac. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what do we do exactly? Oh, oh my god. Okay, I just point out where they are. Is that it? Is that what we are doing? Charlie, just hold on. One more. This is it, Charlie. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, shit. Did I screw up? I think I did. Charlie! Well, at least we got to see that gruesome death scene. So I guess I'm happy that we that we did that. Yeah, death number nine. Actually, let me do this. Let me load the last set before we went to the uh, labyrinth. You know, just in case we need to actually get to the labyrinth. Uh, as, as or with Charlie or something. She's still here, right? Yes. Uh, Mac. Charlie, I'm here. A female bleeds internally now. Our time is short. Okay, Charlie. let's do this. Charlie, I'm here. Mac. I find the amount of time it took you to reach us. This is Yeah, what yeah, sure. Do? I can reroute that overcharge power from the female's blood suit. I sense a butt coming. It will only be effective if they are near the female's epidermis layer. So... 100% accuracy prediction. Mac... Okay. Let's do this. I just wait till this charge is up. Two more to go. There we go. And one more. This is it, Charlie. Hold on. Hold on. This time I won't screw up. There. there. Wasn't that hard. But further contamination is likely. 89% accuracy prediction. Yeah. I think I'm infected too. Mac... I'm here, darling. You're okay. So sorry. Uh, so sorry. No, 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 don't. Caused all... all of this. Shh, no. Be quiet. Be quiet. But you... made us... come here. Charlie. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Can't be forgiven. 
They... let you hear her. What else could you do? A female needs immediate medical attention. If she expires, then I will cease to function. Unacceptable. For once, we're on the same page. We're gonna get you out of here, Charlie. Need to put the escape suit on you, though. It'll hold you together. Hold you together. Okay, so she's going to be the one to wear this. Uh, Mac. Shh. <clears throat> I got you. I got you. Mac. Hmm, chapter 5. The last one, presumably. This game is surprisingly long. To be still. I was, I was like, what the hell is happening here? But oh, he's carrying her, okay. While she's wearing the pluck suit, the pluck suit, she must feel really heavy right now. Okay. Well, at least these two are back together now. Shame that Moses couldn't make How it. How are we going to get out of here? We must escape this place. We must find an exit as safe as we can in our lives. I haven't seen anything like that. I mean... Back the way we came, but most of those entrances are collapsed now. We must move ahead while there is still time. Ninety-five percent accuracy prediction. Yeah, so shame that Moses couldn't make it. But like I said, I was like I said, I had this uh, speculation that that he wouldn't make it. If if someone if someone wasn't going to make it, it was going to be Moses. That was my prediction. This place is a maze. I detect primitive vocalizations in the distance. Yeah, me too. That's a different place than where I came from. Precisely. There is no going back. But we don't know what's ahead. Access to the sea. 71% accuracy prediction. You've never been here. How can you know that? Analyzing harmonic dissonances projected from the voices allows me to gauge the density and distance of the various structures it is reflecting. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. You're really fucking smart. I am. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what do we do? I can calculate a directional flow through the crypts, mm -hmm. using the sound from the vocalizations as an end goal. We must follow the paths I indicate. Do you see the indicator? I do. Follow it. Ah, okay, so we needed him to get through that maze, okay. But I wonder, if we had if we had uh, come back here after I had already explored the place and caved in the uh, maze, would, would we have been able to uh, come back here? I think we would have. I think he would have, and we would have. Harmonics reanalyzed. Directions completed. The automaton is a fascinating creature, brother. And certainly helpful. It makes navigating the maze almost too easy. After everything we've been through, I'm down for a little easy. Clearly not understood. Repeat. Yeah. Ignore me. I'm just talking to the voice in my head. No big deal. 11% accuracy prediction. A pathfinder and a skeptic? <laughs> I like this being. Okay. Harmonics being analyzed. Directions updated. Oh, I... <laughs> hold on, baby, hold on. Do not falter, brother. You are closer with every step. Closer to salvation. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Harmonics being analyzed. Directions updated. Do not stray from the navigation path. I heard you the first time. Yeah, just stop talking and let me let me walk or run. Harmonics reanalyzed. Directions updated. Is this it? Are we fucking out? You have exited the maze. And the source of the chanting is very close. Yeah, that's what worries me. It should, brother, it should. What is it? What are they doing? Celebrating. The Ascension is finally near. With whom are you speaking? Uh, you mean... Wait... 
prophecy thing? Returning to the surface, all, all of that? Yes, brother, the time has come. No, certainly not in the way they expected. We must hurry. Prophet, non-digital communication method. 89% accuracy prediction. Prophet, communication method unique to this environment. 71% accuracy prediction. It's a long story. I'll tell you if there's time. We have to keep going. Accuracy prediction, 100%. The female will expire soon. <laughs> expire. Okay, so is this a... Uh sunken ship, ancient wood. The platform of salvaged wood allows easy passage over the wax-warped floors. The original path long since sub subsumed by the layers of muckers. Structure. Hints of underlying structure peak, uh, pick up from gaps within the abundant phlegm clothing. Just walls. Walk away. Drip in water. It looks like a part of a Ah, never mind it. I, I thought it was a part of a ship or something, but no, it's just a uh, wooden passageway. Okay. There's even more of them now. Oh, nice. They worship with a fervor, brother. They will kill you with the same. Access to the sea lies within that far structure. 89% accuracy prediction. Unlikely to find it there. Access to the lighthouse. The automaton is correct. At its top are methods to eject objects into the water. How the hell are we gonna get there? Those things down there will kill us the moment they see us. Come to me, brother. I will reveal everything. The light, the dark. Take the bridge. Find me. Mm, find you. Okay, well, obviously we are gonna save here. Okay. Horde. The mob is adrift in a deep trance of uh, celebratory dance, high on communal slaughter and ritualistic cannibalism. Altars. Rings of sacrificial altars serve as the main stage of, stages of celebration. An apparatic light show of exuberant sacrifice. I think we have seen an altar like this before. It was at the place where the two water wheels are, are at. So we have to get Either there or there. Staircase. I wanna see... I wanna see the death animation of them murdering us. Wait, are we on a platform or where are we exactly? Well, I see that we are here, but... We can't get down... We can't go down to this wooden platform here. Bridge. Carvings. The colossal twin carvings radiate an aura of divine authority as if demanding subjugation and fanatical adherence. Giant head. The giant's heads bow slightly as if approving of the indulgent brutality and savagery performed and performed en masse under their watching gaze. I guess we can't get killed by these guys, at least not here. So, well, let's move on. What's this? Oh, we are there. What? Wait, this isn't... Uh, my head. Hallucination. Welcome, brother. Finally, we stand before each other. Men, mortals, sinners. Oh God. Man, oh God! My appearance bothers you, brother. It is the most righteous of symbols, a vision of truth. Why is this? Uh, am I dead? <laughs> Far from it, brother. You have much to do. You will be my messenger, my redemption. I don't understand. How can? Valles gives the last glimmers of my consciousness. Time is short, brother. Come closer. Is he alive? Or rather, is his body alive? But... Uh, but the last... Uh, but they got lost here in 1982, right? So it must be... So it... So it and, and now it's like 150 years in the future, I believe. How is he still alive? Or maybe it's the fungus. You could, you could just say, that, oh, it's the fungus that's keeping the man alive somehow. Man. 
Stakes have been hammered through the hands and feet of the man hanging on the cross. A radiating heat emanates from his em uh, emaciated body. How is there a church here? Or are we just hallucinating here? There's no way that there's a Catholic church like this here. Well, maybe not Catholic in this case, since he's Russian. An Orthodox church. Okay, well, there's nothing else to look uh, to pick up or even look at, so... When Hi. it began... When I awoke... I thought this was hell. St. John of the Cross said all men have one. All men live it. Perhaps you know a little of what he spoke, brother. More than a little. Listen closely, time is short. The ritual you observed outside has happened only one other time, when my ship first arrived. We were marooned here. We learned the truth of this place and its people. They were marooned too, much longer ago. Their sole focus was to return, to ascend back to the surface. We stopped it then. We gave everything. We died. All but me. All. But me. Wait, I don't... I watched my men die. Watched them commit horrible sins. Their souls are damned. And the fault is mine. We saved so many above. But God will not see it that way. For God, there are no... How do you say? Gray areas. My flock here is in the jet rows. They would have died soon if not for the intrusion of your people. That too is my fault in its way. What do you mean? It was our distress signal that attracted the attention of your people. It is how we were found. Found too late to help my crew, but just in time to reinvigorate my flock. They are filled with passion now, and purpose. They are not primitive. They understand your machines. And the giant one your people attached to the temple leads directly to the surface. They have reinterpreted their prophecy. They will not return, but their spirit will. The surface will be cleansed. They want to... let loose this contagion? They want to infect the world? A grim vision of a barren world. They will punish the old gods that betrayed them. Cain... This thing would... Kill everyone. I have done my best to inspire them, to teach them the way. But they are no more immune to the deceiver's whispers than you or I. Caliban said... They believed there was a corruption here. Spiritually. Something had been introduced that changed the culture's beliefs. It was you. No. It was the Lord, brother. I was sent here to bring his word and his light. I only wish I had been more successful. I fear I was not up to the task. They have reverted to their baser instincts, in spite of all my effort. But hope is not lost, brother. Not for true believers like you and I. I don't believe. Those ideas are gone now. God is... God has been disproved. You are a believer all the same. In different things, surely, brother, but a believer. This is what matters. We must follow a higher path and the cost is high. Were it not, how should we be redeemed? What are you saying? You took something from my ship. I can feel it even now. An instrument of unholy fire that we will make righteous. The warhead? The nuke? When there is only one path, brother. And that path must be holy. You and I can end this suffering now. For them, us, anyone left alive here. Otherwise... The surface, it all dies. Yes, a hard path, brother. But we will be redeemed by walking it. Wait, I have to reach the lighthouse first. 
I have to save Charlie. Are we bargaining then, brother? The others. The ones outside. They're under your control. Control. Influence is a better word. They accepted my fate at first, but they grow weary of it. Make them leave. Clear a path for me, and I'll give you the warhead. Let me reach the lighthouse before you detonate it. Let me save her. Hmm. I have saved so few here. The idea of bringing just one to salvation is... Yes, but... It shall be... But... There will not be time enough for your salvation, I'm afraid. I understand. I understand. I sense we have much in common, brother. I wish we had more time. Me too. Give me the fire, brother, and I will use it. How can you use it when you are in that state? <sighs> what the hell? You've... seen so much. You are... a stronger man than me. The... fire... Okay, so it was just a hallucination and... <laughs> okay, I was wondering that there's no way that there is a orthodox uh, church down here, uh, let alone the guy still living 150 plus years later, uh, crossed like Jesus Christ himself. Okay, this makes more sense. But how did they get him to this state as, <laughs> as well? I don't get it, but... Yeah, so Mac is not going to survive this either. What did I expect? I mean, it's a stasis game from the Brotherhood. Some some protagonists are always going to die. Or something hor horrible is going to happen to them anyway. That's what happen happens in every uh, uh, horror game or stasis game uh, made by the Brotherhood. Beautiful Desolation, of course, is, uh, is different because it's not a horror game. But still. Well, here's the new. May your soul find peace. Brother. And yours. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at how heavy religious theme this game has. I mean, Kane had it too, but but Kane's was more. How should I say it? It felt more uh, over the top, so much so that I had hard time to take take it seriously. As Sphinster. A warm, pugnant heat bulges out from the gaping spinster like growth. The interiors lick thick with flowing fluids. More fungi. Wispy plant sap. A wispy mesh of sap and slime webs across the chamber, illuminated by ghostly light and wavering gently in shifting air currents. Cross. Two crosses. A true crossed femurs have been bound and, uh, mount and mounted as ghastly interpretation of a cross. I can't really see it, but okay. Well, let's go. Hopefully he manages to... Oh, god damn it, he's fucking big. I just now realized. But yeah, let's hope that... Let's hope that he manages to move the horde away. And he, and he did. Okay, nice. They're gone. The captain, he... He kept his word. The captain of the former Soviet craft. Kept alive. Communication made possible by genetic stream sequences of the contaminant. 81% accuracy prediction. He's so smart. Well, you better be right about the lighthouse. You better be right that I can save her. Saving her means saving me. I am right. 100% accuracy okay, so we, so we go down here through this way, and written this way. Okay, so that's how this goes. I didn't notice that. Okay, you know what? Um, I just, I just really want to test this. I'm gonna make a save here, then we load um, this save. Let's see if the horde can actually spot us and then kill us. So we go here. There's no way through this. They'll rip us apart. You will need another path, brother. 
Come. Hey, Omi. Come, and I will show you. Well, I, but I really want to. I really want to see them. I really want to see them rip us apart. But I guess we can't. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. I want to see every death scene and get the achievements. All right. So, let's get to the lighthouse then. Nothing to look at here. Not anymore. All right. Up the stairs. Okay, so wait, is this the... I don't care. Where am I putting her? Therefore, injecting stuff into the ocean? 91% accuracy prediction. Hold on, Charlie. Hold on. Okay, so this is the lighthouse, I guess. Looks more like a looks more like an, an observatory, but okay. Orrery. An esoteric orrery half buried in sudden ocean sand and mud, trapped in the interlocked gears and uh, concentric rings in place. Anything else interesting? Cables. A half dozen ancient cable-like tubes snake out from the dial, knitting into the chamber's uh, substrate before before re-emerging re and entwining with other forgotten technology. Yeah, more tubes, okay. Well, this seems to be the only one that seems functional. The hollow thrones of the dark metal huddle in intimate proximity, their vacant maws re remini reminiscent of ga gaping reptiles, rep reptiles even, sorry. Uh, their vacant maws reminiscent of gaping reptiles awaiting nourishment. There you go, Charlie. This isn't working. What's the problem? Of course. The pods are disabled. My colleague may have not worked for some time. You lied to me. You told me we could get her out. That we could save her. I collate with a 71% accuracy prediction. Fuck your percentages. She's going to die now. And so are you. These pods are not the only method by which she could be deposited into the sea. What are you talking about? There is only one choice. You must decompress this edifice. Explosively. 95% accuracy prediction. So blow this place up? Blow it open, you mean? Correct. The transparent walls are stronger than glass, but they are not unbreakable. Oh, Kane. Okay, so we have to break the glass. You were right, darling. All calm beneath. Mm. <sighs> Do what must be done. You are wasting time. I know. I know. That recording that Charlie played before. Of hope. It's on her plug suit, isn't it? This is irrelevant. Play it. This is irrelevant. Not for me. Not for her. Play it. Can you tell me your name? Try and remember your... Hope. That's wonderful. That's very good. Yes, your name is Hope. Hope. What's the last thing you remember, Hope? The very last thing. Can you tell me? Can you remember? The beach. Moses. Hmm. What about the beach, Hope? What happened at the beach? I... Moses... The waves grabbed him. The waves grabbed Moses and pulled him out to sea, didn't they? Yes. And what did you do? I... I jumped in after him. I tried to... 
Where's mom and dad? Where's Moses? Do you miss your parents, Hope? Where are they? They're away right now, but they love you very much. They're going to come get you. Moses too? Moses too. Would you like that? My dad lets me fish. He's teaching me how. Oh, is that right? You like fishing with your dad? Uh-huh. You want to be a fisherman when you grow up? No. Mm, what do you want to be, Hope? A captain. A captain? And an engineer. And someone really brave. Wow, those are three really big things, aren't they? Where did those ideas come from? From people in your life? People important to you? Yeah. You can be all three of those things. Do you know that, Hope? You can be anything you want. I know. I will. <sighs> you know what must be done. If they matter to you, you must act before it is too late. Or nothing of what you just heard will matter. 100% accuracy prediction. Yeah. Yeah. That was really heartbreaking. Okay, so we have to uh, blow this open and break the glass. Viewing portal. A lazy current washes against the viewing portal, washing waves of salt and ocean detritus against the crystalline material. Well, luckily we have a gren grenade here that hasn't gone off yet, so... Oh, we just have to... We, I, 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 forgot that, I forgot that I can't track items from my inventory. We have to do it like this. Damn, it looks like it's about to break already. <laughs> I, I think I, all I need to do is just punch it. But, there. <sighs> Feels like forever since I just... Stop moving. Since I was just... Still. You don't have to be sorry, Charlie. She's right. She can be anything she wants now. Thanks to you. I love you both. I love you both so... Here comes the nuke. And we are back at the surface, finally. Must feel great. A Bishop Brothers game. Christopher Bishop, uh, who did the art. Nicholas Bishop, programming. And also did the story. Wow, this was a... This was an adventure, and Mark Morgan, the legend, made the music. Uh, he also made the music for... I think he's like best known for his Fallout uh, soundtrack. So yeah, what a legend. Oh, oh crap, I 
missed who were the voice act voice actors of our voice actors of our protagonists here, but oh well. But yeah, this was Mark Bischoff additional modeling. Okay, and Crystal Bischoff, I believe that she is the wife of one of the two brothers. But yeah, this this was a great adventure. Great underwater Lovecraftian. Well, well, there were there were some Lovecraftian elements in this game, sure, but not as much as I had uh, expected slash hoped, uh, maybe. But it also but it also had more religious uh, themes in this, and this game had had a lot more religious themes in it. And I think that that and I think that those uh, that was. The, re the religious aspect of this game was much better written than in Kane. Now this must be the... Not Kickstarter backers, because this game was backed uh, on their own website now, I believe. And not Kickstarter this time around, I believe. And I... Matt Barton. Ah, oh, <laughs> I recognize that YouTuber. Assuming that it is the same Matt Barton. In loving memory of Robert Follis. That's a familiar name. Stasis Bone Totem. Oh, there's more. Oh, that's Moses. Okay, so Moses somehow not only, well, I was, I was about to say survived, but he still got cut in half, but he also somehow got to the surface as well. So I guess you could say that I was wrong. Moses does survive-ish at the end. It was Mac who had to sacrifice himself this time around. Thanks for playing. Please write a review. And you know what? Just because you asked, yeah, sure, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, I'm gonna make a, a much deeper my thoughts on video of this game at some point in the future. I mean, I have done a my thoughts on video of every the Brotherhood game so far, excluding this one. So of course I'm gonna make one of both of them as well. But what I can say right now is that I really enjoyed this adventure. When I compare this to the first Stasis game from 2000, was it released in 2015? I think you can clearly see that how much. Uh, how much better the Brotherhood has become when it comes to the uh, cinematics, the environments and their details, uh, character animations, the 3D models, animation, everything is better than in Stasis back in 2015. They have really improved themselves a lot during the past eight or so years, while also working on Kane, of course, and Beautiful Desolation. They, are, they have learned much from those games too, no doubt. And once again, a bittersweet ending, just like in the first Stasis game, or actually no, in the first Stasis uh, game, the ending was much more morbid, I guess you could say, because no one survived in that game. But at least here, at least one out of three, or should I say one and a half out of three of the protagonists uh, survived in this game, so that's something. But yeah, it's still a shame that we didn't get to see Mac and Charlie have their perfect happy ending and have hope back. What I would have also loved to see there at the end was Hope being brought back by the Yellow Leaf like they promised, and then her being reunited with her mother Charlie, and then see them live happily ever after, or at least as happily as Charlie can live without Mac, and Hope without Moses. Uh, but then again, I guess Charlie could always make a new Moses for her. But in short, I love the game, I love the characters, the story, the environments, the themes, the puzzles, or well, I guess I can say about the puzzles that if I had to say something to criticize the game, uh, there was at least a couple of puzzles uh, that I solved purely by accident because I didn't quite understand the logic behind them. So I guess you could say that some of the puzzles and how to solve them were not messaged clearly enough to the player. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. That's also totally possible that I'm just too stupid to understand how the puzzles work. That's entirely possible. But yeah, that's really the only that's really the only thing that comes to my mind that I can that I feel like criticizing. But maybe I come up with something else uh, for the my thoughts on video. But there were some challenging puzzles there, but they were not so hard that I had to 
or that I felt the need to go and check the walkthrough at any point. Yeah, I didn't use the walkthrough at any point in this game. I cleared this game entirely uh, on my own, so I'm really happy about that. The story felt multi-layered with many unexpected twists and turns, or well, uh, to be fair, I did kind of predict at least a couple of those things. But overall, I like this story. It felt very much like the story of the first Stasis game, but even better, I would say. It had its own many uh, gross, grotesque and gory moments as well, which I enjoyed. I also really liked, I think I mentioned this before, but I also really liked that how they treated the depth scenes or depth cinematics here as more like secrets that you must unlock yourself, and not something that you need to be wary of all the time because th because you never know what's going to kill you. It's not something that you have to be wary about all the time and save constantly. So death and dying in general in this game didn't feel frustrating or annoying, but it felt more like it felt more like hunting collectibles. <laughs> that's what that's what it felt like to me, and I really enjoyed that. And I really liked how you had three separate protagonists, each with their own inventory and even special abilities, like Mac could break things and Charlie could fix them. And as for Moses, well, I guess he didn't really have a special ability, but he could connect to computers and stuff, I guess, so that was his ability. It really felt like playing Day of the Tentacle again, but... I don't remember. Could you switch items between the, all the characters there as easily as here? Or did you have to transfer the items to the time machines that they used? I don't remember anymore, but I don't think that it was that easy in Day of the Tentacle. So here in Stasis Bone Totem, it felt much more... It felt much easier to switch items and try various stuff. So that was fun. So after playing this game, I feel confident enough to say that Stasis Bone Totem is one of the best adventure games released in 2023. But now I'm gonna end this video and thus this Let's Play here. So, thank you for watching my blind let's play of Stasis Bone Totem.